What's up fam? Good morning. Today is a big day for us, for Addie in particular. This is Chris's new windshield. We still haven't gotten that fixed. That's what this is. Addie, come here, baby. Come here. She's like, what? Come here. Okay. We're gonna have a talk. We're gonna have a talk, Missy. Do you wanna work out boy boots? Okay, come here. Come talk to mama real quick. are two years old, right? Today is the day that we're gonna have no more diapers, okay? Addy, I have something for you. I have, right here, come here. Do you want this? Do you, do you want me to go over there? I have something for you in my hand, and this is what you're gonna be wearing from now on, okay? Do you want to see? Do you want to see? Look. What is it? What is it? I have panties. Got panties. They're panties. Addy, <laughs> yeah. This is going well. Chris and I got up this morning, and we were like, you know what? This is the end. We are no longer going to have diapers at all anymore. So let me like. Get, catch you up to date here. Oh, you got your Mowgli for this discussion. Ah! So Addie's been going in the potty for the last like, at least the last six months, um, if not a little bit longer than that. She, off and on, she's been using the potty, but we have not actively potty trained her till now, mostly because, well for one, I don't think potty training is a race, and just because she's been showing signs of it doesn't necessarily mean that it's like the right time to do it. Potty training, especially when it's not like your first or second kid, is a whole family task. Like if you're going outings, you have to now be aware of like the little one who may not be able to hold their bladder as much anymore. So it's kind of like a whole family group effort. And as you guys know, we've been traveling, we've been busy, we've been taking the kids all kinds of places. And now that it's starting to calm down, I'm, a, I'm ready to officially take away the pull-ups altogether. Maybe not at night, I'm not sure. She has been waking up dry most of the time. At home, she's pretty much been potty trained. We just don't have her wear underwear or diaper at home. And she runs around pretty much in dresses all day and she goes in the potty pretty much all of the time so she's pretty much potty trained and no you cannot climb up there sorry she's pretty much potty trained in that aspect but now we're going to officially take it away like when we go into public settings because we're no longer going on like you know a five-hour flight or anything like that and it's all about consistency I feel like once we officially take away the pull-ups all together because it can be confusing for kids when you're kind of switching back and forth between like no diaper at home and then diaper in public you did do that yes it's time it's time to take with diapers this is the end this is the first this is the beginning of the end the beginning of the end of diapers. Our last baby is about to be potty trained. Today is gonna be the first full day without any diaper at all. And I'm confident that she'll do okay, although I don't really know what she's doing right now. Okay, so first step is we gotta put your panties on. Okay, sis? Okay. Okay, this is it. Addy, you are not wearing a diaper, okay? You're not wearing a pull-up. You're only wearing panties. So if you have to go potty, you have to tell mommy, okay? No diapers. No, they're panties. You want to go to Landon's dance class with me? Yeah. Okay, if you have to go potty, what are you going to do? Dance class. You're going to go to dance class? Don't pee pee in our panties, right? Okay. Okay, you tell mama? Yeah. Okay, let's get Landon's dance shoes on. Landon started a tap class for the summer. He wanted to try it out. Yay. Yay. I think he just likes making noises with his shoes. Shoes, baby. Take them off. Let's get your shoes on. Are you ready, sister? Yeah. Pee pee in the potty all day? Yeah. Okay. The triplets are at Mimi's house. They had a sleepover at Mimi's house last night. I've been calling them the triplets. By that, I, you could probably guess. I mean, Kais and Kaden, the twins, and then Tommy. The three of them literally look like triplets. I have people ask me in public if they're triplets. It's not even necessarily that they're similar. I think it's just the fact that they're all like the same exact size. The rest of the kids are at home still enjoying the peace and quiet away from the littles and then the middles. Are you ready, baby girl? Yeah. Let's try this. You did it! High five! I'm so proud of you! 
just give you a high five after you pee. But there's this app. I downloaded three. It's called Mastercraft, and then I download Skin Creator, and then Vehicle and Weapon Mods. You could just download free maps, and they're like way better than any of them that you can buy. What? How and dare they? You actually have to earn skins on Minecraft. When? You, but why do that when you can just make your own skin? <laughs> Oh my Did you guys enjoy the peace and quiet from away from the littles and the middles? <laughs> Look at your swimsuit. Okay. Please don't shut me out again. Please don't slam the door. You don't have to keep your distance anymore. Goodbye. Hi. Goodbye. She told me she had to go potty when we were out. She went in public. Nice. Yeah. No. Like she she's wearing panties. She oh. went in public. No, like. Oh my god, you know what I mean? But she wore panties the whole time, no accidents so far, so far so good. So Yeah, she she went this morning too and she woke up. Yeah. Good I took I took her diaper off and as soon as I made her a waffle, she said, I need to go pee pee. So oh. okay. Good girl. So far so good. I don't wanna speak too soon, but Oh my god. She is I'm ready to kick off. You ready to go to school? She is on another level. Tommy and Kaden are leaving in two days. So not tomorrow, but the next day. And we want to get together with like the whole family before they leave for the rest of the summer. Well, there's only two more weeks left. But they do go home for the last two weeks of summer. That's like what the arrangement is. And I can't believe that summer is already almost up. We're gonna head over to my mom's house. The triplets are already there. We're gonna take the rest of them over there. We're gonna have like dinner and stuff and swim for a little farewell party. That thing is as big as you are, child. But first, I I'm heading to my dreaded dentist appointment. I am 27 years old and I still have my wisdom teeth in. I have been absolutely terrified and avoiding getting my wisdom teeth taken out. Chris just had his taken out. Actually, he was 30. The problem with mine is that they're impacted, which means that they are like under my gum still and they're pushing on my teeth. So my dentist was like, yo, you need to get these things out. Chris's were already in, so his were just like, he just had them like pulled. Mine is like a full on surgery. Oh. <sighs> not ready so today is my consultation I just need to get it done I know I need to get it done I'm just I'm mostly terrified I think because my mom when she got her wisdom teeth taken out they like hit a nerve and she lost feeling on half of her tongue for the rest of her life so she can't feel or taste on half of her tongue luckily it didn't happen on the other half because um she only got two of them taken out at one time for some reason and if it's genetic at all I don't want to lose feeling on my tongue I like my food I like tasting it so I don't know but I gotta do it suck it up be an adult let's do this they did a, what's, oh, I already forgot what it was called. CB something, blah, 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 scan, which can see where my nerves are and where my teeth are. He said that my nerves, well, because I told him I was concerned about my mom because she lost feeling in, right. her, t in her tongue. Right. And he said that my nerves on both of my bottom sides are extremely close to my teeth. Is that a bad sign? I mean, or a bad thing? it's not a good thing. You just, you have a, he said it's rare but you have a chance of losing feeling in your lip. That's the one that he's concerned about is my lips. And he said that sometimes it's temporary and sometimes it's permanent. Oh. Yeah. And he said, because they're so close, I run that risk of losing feeling to my lips. Is, so is it just, is that just from removing the tooth? Yeah, the nerves are close to my teeth. I have like pretty large teeth and a very small like mouth. And so my wisdom teeth are big. Because they're so big and it's in such a tight little small area, my nerve runs right over it, like right next to it. If he were to go in there, take them out, he could potentially damage the nerve, which would mean that I would lose feeling in my lips. It's up to me obviously, but I have to decide if the, if the risk is worth the benefit, but I'm 27 years old and I've never had issues with my wisdom teeth knock on wood. And he said they're not gonna like grow anymore. They're like in where they're at. Right. They could still cause problems in the future. But since I'm not, they're not having, I don't have any problems with them right now. It's like a 50-50 on if I should get them taken out or not. I love that doctor, man. He was so thorough. He ran through yeah, everything with me. He was very honest too. Like he didn't just tell me, oh yeah, get them taken out. Cause 
you know, I'm gonna get paid. wouldn't do anything unless you're physically having a problem. Yeah, I don't know. Don't, don't fix what's not broken. Mm-hmm, yeah, that's my motto. Like, like mine, like mine mm -hmm. had, had to be taken out because of, um, it was, it was broken. cracked and there was just pain. Like, yeah. you're not experiencing pain, there's no discomfort, like, you're mm -hmm. fine. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it if you don't have to. He's also fascinated by my tooth that's in the front. He said that it's grown, it started over here, I'm showing the camera, it started over here and it grew all the way over to right here on the side of my mouth. And um, it's right up against a, a nerve also for my lip. It's where the nerve comes out for my lip. And he said he would not touch that tooth. Like if he touches that tooth, it's, it's pretty much gonna mess up my lip, my feeling in my lips. I like feel better going to the consultation yeah. Cause like they were so thorough, but I'm just I'm leaning towards not doing anything right now. Yeah, I would. You know? I would. Wow, what a contraption you guys got here! This is the longest track I think I've ever seen. We started work at three. Yeah. All right, she convinced me. I landed in Sam's class earlier. She was begging to go in and I felt bad because I put everybody in a summer dance class except her She's the only one that I didn't put but she convinced me to put her into a summer ballet class I just didn't so what it is is that she was in the mommy and me class And now she's at the age where she goes into a class by herself And I didn't think that she was gonna want to do that and she sure acts like she wants to do it So we're going we're going to class no diaper a big girl class all by herself You just grew up all of a sudden all of a sudden she's just like growing up so fast They're still prepping dinner back there her class is only 30 minutes and it's just around the corner so I'm just take her really quickly it just happened to work out to where they had a class today still and I signed her up last minute so we're gonna go try we're gonna go see if she real this is what she really wants I'm gonna go work on my toes <sighs> okay big girl and buckle it buckle the bottom the way way good job do the other side Yeah, I'm going to the class. Hi! Hi! You're the luckiest mom ever. I love all of my kids. All right, you ready for this girl? Yeah. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Can we go with you? Go ahead. Thing. She didn't even look back. And no accidents. Addie, do you have to go potty? Uh, no. Okay. Look okay, at she's doing it. That's what she did. Look at her. Look at My mama heart. She's gonna be a ballet girl. Look at her. She did it. And she wore panties. She's doing it. Good job, Leah. She did it. She did it. Oh my gosh. Do you pause it? With the stretch, get it. Putting all the boys down. We have had a successful day of potty training, not one accident. This is it, this is the end. This is the end of diapers for us, guys. So I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night.